So overall, very spotty showers with the front in our region. As the storm is approaching the coast, there is a little bit of enhanced convection, uh, which means more rain uh, showing up closer to sea drift. And then, of course, Baffin Bay, San Antonio Bay and areas closer to Galveston. That's where there's going to be a little bit more forcing this morning. We may see a few of these showers enhance a bit as it approaches our waterway, uh, but I'm not very confident in that. So overall, very spotty showers for us here in the coastal bend with the front. This front relatively weak. We've got another one coming up on Saturday that is trending a little stronger. So this morning, a few storms possible. It looks like this front will be on Corpus Christi by about 8:30, 9 a.m. So we see a chance for storms with that front. Then we're going to see clearing skies into the afternoon with northerly winds that will remain light. So not a big chain, not a big drop in humidity, not a big drop in temperatures because our winds are just going to be so light. We're not getting that big boost of northerly air that really cools us down. But again, through 10 a.m., I think this model is a little bit late on the storms, but through 10, we have a chance for some rain. Then that activity will shift south. Can't rule out a spotty shower or storm this afternoon, but for the most part, we've got clearing skies across the coastal bend, which will lead to cooler overnight temperatures. So 65 degrees, your temperature there, 6 a.m tomorrow morning. A brief southwest wind possible along the coast. You could tap into that, uh, but then we'll see southeast winds quickly back during the day on Friday. So that's going to boost our humidity even more, boost our temperatures. So Friday is looking warmer. In fact, I think we'll be warmer than 83 about 3 p.m. I'm thinking 85, 86. Then storms are possible. So as we head into Friday evening, we see a few isolated storms out ahead of the front. And then the front moves through Saturday morning, very similar to this morning, but it looks like again we could see some storms ahead of that front and uh, it looks like just a stronger front in general. Northwest wind showing up sustained 16 miles per hour. We're talking gust up to 45 miles per hour Saturday, but we've got much lighter north winds today when it comes to rainfall. Very isolated this morning. Higher rainfall totals look to be possible Saturday morning. We could see a half an inch of rain or so with some isolated areas seeing more. It's still very humid today, even behind our front, but those stronger winds will help lower humidity over the weekend. So here's the difference in our mid levels. We're going to have still predominantly westerly winds behind the front today. When it comes to Saturday, look at this. We get northwest winds. I don't know why this arrow isn't matching up, but you can see the streamlines here and the wording right there. Northwest winds. Again, this is in the mid levels of the atmosphere, so it's pretty high up. So we're not seeing 66 mile per hour winds at the surface, but those northwest winds will be funneling in Saturday, mixing to the surface at about 45 miles per hour and bringing in that drier and cooler air that will kind of linger even into next week. So overall, I want to point out just how strong our winds will be Saturday. Stronger winds as strong winds Friday, but that's more Friday evening overnight and then into Saturday morning. We see those stronger wind gusts. Uh, northwest winds Saturday, still northerly winds Sunday. Southerly winds do return on Monday, so humidity will start to go up by then. As far as waves go, they're going to react stronger to that Saturday front. Not much increase in wave heights today. You'll see waves closer to potentially four, five, six, seven feet uh, with the front Saturday. But again, the winds will be strong, but they're northwest winds gusting up to 45 miles per hour throughout the day on Saturday. Sunny and nice on Sunday, slowly increasing our humidity and cloud coverage into next week. Barbie John Thomas.